Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design. I'm Dage and today we're gonna control how layer masks affect layer styles. So I have this picture of myself trying to win the most charming poker face of the year. And I want a black stroke around the picture's frame. So with the layer selected, I'll click add a layer style and select stroke. Great. Now I wanna mask out the right part of the layer. So with the polygonal lasso tool, I'll create a rough selection, just like that. Hold down the Alt or Option key and click Add Layer Mask. And then the long-awaited question arises. What? Okay, what happened? This is not what you had in mind, is it? Well, as you can see, the mask didn't hide the layer style, which in this case is just a stroke. To fix this issue, there's a simple little trick that takes the form of a checkbox. Yep, a mere checkbox. So all you have to do is double click on the word effects to access the layer style menu. And select the first entry, blending options. Under advanced blending here, find this checkbox, layer mask hides effects, and activate it. If your layer is a vector, you'll need to check this box. Hit OK, and now it looks right. However, now you might run into another problem. Let's say you want to add a shadow. So you open the layer styles and add a drop shadow. And then the second question arises. What? Okay, calm down. You just told Photoshop that layer masks hide any effect, including the drop shadow. So how do we fix that? Simple. First, let's undo the drop shadow. You can create a group by selecting the layer and pressing Ctrl or Command G and then add the drop shadow to the group. Better yet, instead of creating a group, just convert the layer to a smart object and then add the drop shadow to the smart object itself. It just works. I totally love smart objects. So now the mask is hiding the stroke, but not the drop shadow. Mission accomplished.